Interior Minister Danko Ostojic is in very serious condition after developing a blood infection. He underwent emergency surgery over the weekend. He remains in intensive care at a Zagreb hospital, however doctors expect him to recover. The eastern Croatian region around the town of Županje is about to begin a major rebuilding project after floods devastated much of the area in May of this year. Topping the list of priorities is the elementary school in the village of Gunja. Work on the school is expected to be completed by the beginning of the school year. So far, 57 unsalvageable buildings have been raised in Gunja and the nearby village of Rajevo Selo. More homes are set to be torn down in Racinovci as well. Ground coordinators for the rebuilding effort say volunteers are always welcomed. The Croatian World Games open tonight in Zagreb's Ban Jelicic Square. The Games are a kind of Olympiad for Croats living all over the world. 750 young athletes of Croatian descent will be competing in 16 sports over the course of the week. Organizers are hoping to make this event into a major national project modeled upon the Jewish Olympics that unite Jewish athletes from around the globe. The coastal town of Nin is so proud of their local traditional sausage known as shokol that they've built a whole festival around it. The most important step in making this sausage is the dry aging by powerful northeasterly winds tinged with sea salt early in the year. This year's edition of the Shokoliada has attracted 97 producers of this savory appetizer, all competing for the title of year's best. In sports, Hajduk and Istra played to a one-all draw in split in round one of the Croatian football championship. Rijeka beat Zagreb 3-1 in the capital. Zagreb led until the 55th minute when Rijeka picked up the pace, scoring three goals in the second half. Today's match between Zadar and Split finishes up round one of the competition. Australia's Bernard Tomic beat Croatia's Ivo Karlovic for the Claro Open Colombia title on Sunday with a final score of 7-6, 3-6, The 25th Vegeta Croatia Open begins in Umag today. Croatian players Marin Cilic, Borna Cioric, Mate Delic and Ante Pavic are playing, while Duje Kekes still has to qualify. Borna Cioric faces Frenchman Roger Vasselin this afternoon with live coverage on HTV2. Croatia's water polo team faces host nation Hungary tonight at the European Championships in the final game of Group B. Live coverage on HTV2 begins at 8.30 p.m. This afternoon's forecast calls for variable to cloudy skies with occasional showers and isolated thunder showers. There may still be some lingering sunny spells in the east of the country where rain is not expected until evening. On the coast, expect a moderate southeasterly, seas moderate and good visibility. Afternoon highs in the west will range from 24 to 29 degrees Celsius and from 28 to 32 degrees in the east of the country. Frequent showers and thunder showers are expected on Tuesday and partly on Wednesday in the interior. More sun is expected on Thursday with a few lingering showers. Temperatures will be slightly lower than in recent days. A similar trend on the coast tomorrow expects showers which could be quite heavy in places. Lighter rain on Wednesday and a return to sunshine with a chance of occasional showers on Thursday.